Hi, everyone, and welcome to Outlier 2024. <laughs> I am so excited that you are joining us either here in Chicago or online. We have an amazing agenda for you this week. But before I get into all of that, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Emily Kuhn. I am the events director for DVS. Some may describe me as a white woman with dark brown hair, wearing stylish glasses, and a beige and blue pinstripe shift. And so I am very excited to be here and working with all of DVS, all of our great volunteers to put on this event. We have three days of amazing content. And I was blown away by the speaker submissions that we had. We had about a seven to one submission to talk ratio. And so it was so hard <laughs> looking through all of those applications to whittle it down because there were so many deserving speaker submissions. So you've got the best of the best in terms of content this week. We also have three awesome keynotes for you, one each day. And, you know, as I sat back and was reflecting on the plane ride over, there were a couple of things that really stood out to me. One is that uh, I want to thank you for the investment in yourself, whether it's your company or you uh, investing to be here, whether it's here in person or online, that's an investment in yourself. So clap it up for you for taking the time because you could be doing something else and we really appreciate that you're here. Clap it up. Thank you. The second thing that really stands out to me is that uh, other conferences have cut back in terms of their content, but we really wanted to provide a really valuable conference, and so that's why we've got the three keynotes, three days of activities, and this year we have a, um, a really big focus on community. And what I know to be true is that over the last couple of years, it's been a little tough in the data visualization space, whether it's been companies cutting back their budgets for contractors or companies laying people off. And what I know is that community is what helped people get jobs or the encouragement to freelance. And that's why community, at least for me, is so important. And we have some really great community initiatives here this week and that are also available to our virtual attendees. So first off, we have Slack. So if you haven't joined, please join. You can connect with people that way. But we've also done some fun things too. We have a virtual viz gallery where you can go in and it looks like an art gallery of visualizations hanging on the wall. It's super fun. We have QR codes. We have links out there. So please visit the art or the art slash viz gallery while you're here. We have um, community clusters. This was an idea brought from last year. And it's a really great way to connect over topics of interest. What I know is that when you build, you build community through genuine interest, whether that's data related or health related or kid related. And so community clusters allow you to do that. So if you haven't joined, they are a great initiative. I believe we have QR codes out there for those as well. And then we also have a photo booth in person, but we also are launching the virtual photo booth at our first break that anybody can use. So make sure you snap your picture and post it, share it out on social, letting people know that you're attending. Uh, it'll be super fun. And of course, we have more activities as well. But community is a big focus. And so while you're here, we have extended breaks. Please connect with people. Uh, because it just helps us all out. And you never know 
when you might find your data viz bestie. <laughs> All right, that's, I think, enough for me. Uh, Julia, I have some questions for you because I've done the fun stuff, like, like data viz bestie and welcoming people. <laughs> But there's probably, well, um, but there's probably some housekeeping that we need to go over. Just, um, is this working? I don't know. No. But you can use mine if not. Thank you for sharing your mic with me. Um, a few logistics. Um, the bathrooms are quite difficult to find, but you just go around the corner and then you find them. So just to uh, <laughs> let you know, like round there's, I think there's vending machines there and then there are bathrooms. So hopefully you can find that. If you're virtual. If you're virtual, I hope you know where your bathroom is. Um, but if you don't, then that's really nothing I can help you with. Um, so, and everybody here should, should have had the breakfast today. There'll be breakfast. There's a ton of snacks, so you're not going to go hungry. We don't let people go hungry in Chicago. Um, and virtually you're responsible for your own snacks. Sorry. Um, we do have snack breaks. Um, food is not allowed in the auditorium, but you can bring your drinks in. Um, there'll be coffee, tea, and uh, wa fruit-infused water. That was my little luxury addition, much to Amanda's disgust. <laughs> she loves it, but it was extra money. Oh, it was you. That's right. It was Emily. Can you save money on that? No? No? This is going to be a good conference. Um, and the other thing to, um, we have the cocktail party tonight, hang around for that, great view of the lake, it'll be just outside here, and then unconferences, so please, does, everybody should know what an unconference is, if you've been reading my emails, but I'm not sure everybody has, um, but you can sign up for them, and we have an information desk outside, it'll be open during breaks, um, and they can help you with, um, Unconferences, if you can't find your access code and you want to access virtually because you um, need to step out or something like that, then please um, go there and they, they have access to the access codes. That's kind of weird. Um, I think that's it because we're already over time. Or do you have another question for me? No, no other questions. I just want to close it out with something. Let's go. Well, you can say let's go. Um, no, I just, before we get off the stage and welcome Amanda, um, I want to say, and if you all feel so compelled, a big thank you to Julia, who has led our team of volunteers. Amazing. And yes, she did uh, convince me to have fruit-infused water. <laughs> but... Right. She could not do it alone. We have just so many people. I'm not going to give shout outs now because that's better for closing and we're running short. But just again, this conference is going to be so good and it's because of you and all of our volunteers. So thank you. And Amanda, 